Many dogs, cats and other animals pick up their owner's intentions. They seem to be telepathic with their owners. One of the ways in which dogs show this behavior is knowing when their owners are coming home. About 50% of dog owners have found that the dog goes and waits at a door or a window um, before the person gets home. We've done experiments that show it is really happening. We film the place where the dog waits. We have people go at least five miles away. We have them come home at random times. They travel by taxi to avoid familiar car sounds. And the dogs still know. They start waiting when the person decides to go home. So they're responding to the person's intention. And therefore, it seems to be a telepathic phenomenon. It's what's going on in the person's mind not noises or physical clues or anything like that that's telling the dog when they're coming. I think social groups of animals have morphic fields, termite nests, ants' nests, bees' hives, and flocks of birds and schools of fish do as well. The whole group behaves as if they're a single organism. I think all social animals, including us, uh, have fields for social groups that link the members together within the group and continue to connect them even when they're away from each other, physically separated. The closest physical analogy to telepathy is in quantum physics, uh, quantum non-locality. Quantum non-locality is when two particles have been part of the same system. They're part of the same system, they move apart, and when they move apart, they remain linked to each other, or entangled, as quantum physicists say, uh, so that a change in one instantly affects the other. My idea of morphic fields is very similar in spirit to quantum theory. The morphic fields are a bit like quantum fields. They're probability structures. Nature's organized by invisible fields. Living organisms are organized by invisible fields. This seems to be the nature of nature. <laughs>